Thank you so much for joining us once again for another table talk of the Joseph Movement. And today we're going to be talking about our youth. We know that, you know, it is such a common thing for us to say that youth are, um, you know, the leaders of the future. However, it has been changing because currently youth are actually becoming influences of the present because of the internet and because of an increased activity online. So today I am very honored to have two guest speakers with me. I have Marjorie with me. Marjorie is from uh, Youth for Life and Youth for Life has been doing amazing work with youth and in community specifically in schools for, for over 11 years I believe. And Marjorie has been playing a tremendous role um, within the organization. And then I'm also very honored to, to introduce um, Olivia to you. Olivia is the founder of Olive Grove and she has an absolute heart for the youth as well and for communities. And she is also a qualified psychological counselor. So I just wanna welcome you ladies and thank you for your time in speaking to us. So, Marjorie, I want to start with you. Please tell um, those watching, what do you do? What is your passion? And what exactly is uh, Youth for Life? Youth for Life mainly focuses on children in communities. We believe in healing communities from within. Mm -hmm. So we've got discipleship groups in communities. Um, we then do training with them, leadership with them. We have weekly classes that are part of a feeding scheme um, and the whole family gets involved in, in this eventually because they are the key point. Um, yeah. If we then do charity, like people will call it, you know, just drop and go, we say no, rather use the children, mm -hmm. let them do the charity of the community and that way you heal the communities from within. Yeah. So, um, yes, we rise, we help the children to step up and step out um, yes. and serve their own communities they are we are very strict so when we do go into communities we know the children that is part of you for life is committed dedicated and have the compassion for the community now and yeah. we also know they will be the ones in the future to still care even if they don't live in that community anymore yeah. their hearts will be there because they serve there so that, that is what I like focus. about you sorry for interrupting yes. is um, with the work that you do is you don't just go in and and train or talk to them and say spend an hour with them. You actually really equip them and, and get them involved in also becoming, you know, influences within their communities. Yes, we actually uh, connect with NPOs in or not even NPOs. You sometimes get the kitchen lady or the soap combis tani yes. that just serve regardless. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, people that do Bible study, regardless, they've been doing it. And they, if yeah. you're in the, the part of the brokenness, it is you, you get so alone because the darkness is overwhelming if you are the only flickering light in a community. Yeah. And then we just go there and we take hands and we need to work with all of them um, really to create a good foundation from where we can help communities. Well, yes. not us, they. We just help them so that they can yes. have, And we call them the lighthouses. So we have many lighthouses um, all over, and um, they become the lighthouses in the community. And whatever people want to do, whatever charity, whatever program, yeah. we simply say, do it from this point. Yeah. Um, because this is the safe haven in the community. Even if I go to like Tafel Surf or yeah. Ocean View, there's always this one lady that keeps everybody yes. together and if you can connect with that lady she's like the mother then yes. you don't have to really do much except mm -hmm. say listen here we are having a winter outreach yes. do you want to be involved mm -hmm. and then they simply say yes, yes. Uh, and you take hands with the people that's doing it already yes. well we definitely don't go in and um, try to establish new things um, because there's so but many people, is, there's so many people that is exactly. serving already. Yeah. But that is what I love about um, how you approach and how useful life approaches, you know, the work you do. 
because we are very excited. You've been very, <laughs> you've been very patient with the Joseph movement, <laughs> um, because exactly what you're saying is you don't go and reinvent the wheel, and that's the same as what we are trying to establish between Youth for Life and the Joseph movement, which focuses on, um, you know, combating human trafficking, and so we're going to be piggybacking on you. Um, which is such an honor and such a wonderful opportunity to piggyback on Youth for Life, to go into the schools with you, whereas you're going to be doing your speciality, and then we will then in turn do our um, children's program. Yes. Okay, so that is, that is where we are linked or linking with Youth for Life, which is so amazing. And I just want to publicly honor you for that because you are not the kind of organization that just goes and does your own thing and you want to just take you know the yes. the the, the, the um, honor for it you are so open to also have other organizations like piggybacking on you so thank you that the joseph Aww. movement can piggyback on youth for life to bring in um our anti-human trafficking children's program yes. to the kiddies that you work with. Yes, I think yeah. the amazing connection between this is we also do our bully prevention in schools mm -hmm. and we also with other NPOs work in schools but I remember when I was in school um, and there were someone that came and did a talk about human trafficking and they gave us tips to be aware of. They gave us tips if, if you're in a situation what to do. And in my life, that has saved my life mm. three times. Not my life, I mean, it really mm -hmm. had such a huge impact um, in my life mm -hmm. that got me out of uh, life-threatening situations. Um, and I think going to a school, doing a program, and then having four or five people there at the same time you know, because the schools are busy and uh, their time is limited. But when you do have a program and you go in and you say, we are doing this, 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 this today. Yes. And they can say, okay, well, we've got an hour or uh, two hours um, that you can have the children and you can have that impact. Yes, um, yes. Exactly. And that's why I think it's not piggybacking, but it's taking hands to yeah. just... Uh, Tell children this is the best. <laughs> this is this is information that you need. Yes, and exactly. you speaking from a human trafficking point of view. Mm. You know mm. me speaking from a, a, a skills and a leadership mm. point of view. And then them seeing well, the only way to really combat anything yeah. is by taking hands. Yeah, that's the yes. only way really yeah. to yeah. have impact is by standing together yes. and um, speaking up. That yes. is the main thing. But that is what I yes. love is because. This is what we're trying to get at: is that we we are not only working with the leaders of the future. To me, I've just seen that that still remains true, but now currently, because especially um, with a pandemic as well, our youngsters they're becoming younger and younger um, and more active online, mm. and. The, the, the influencers are becoming yes. younger and younger online. So that is why this kind of work is so vital. Yes, and the guidance that they Exactly. Need. And then when it comes to what we've seen, and it's currently still so, is one of the biggest ways in which traffickers mm. um, actually trick young people um, into a human trafficking situation or a sexual exploitation situation is through fake job offers. Wow. So now with the work that you're doing, with the work that we are doing, as well as Olivia, it's like, knock thy boom for Olivia, terwijl hy nog groen is, nee? You yes. know, just yeah. now we're ready to, to, to just instill that into them is yes. so, so and vital being now involved, more than ever before. And being involved with yeah. their lives because mm. with the Youth for Life, let's say now we have a lighthouse and there's 30 children at that lighthouse. I'm on their social media pages. Yeah. So when they go and I post yeah. a naked foot yeah. to because they do go through phases, yeah. mm. then it's immediately a connection point. Yeah. You know, you say, listen here, all of us, they just yes. stop. Yes. 
wat, wat het jy gedink toe jy dit gedoen het? Ja. Yeah, what exactly. is what, what is the attention that yes. you want? We all know what it is that you wanted. Yes. But then taking them back to biblical principles yeah. and to leadership saying, your youngest sister is also looking at you. So you may think it just have impact on your life, but mm. when it comes to social media, your ripple effect is huge. Yeah. And you have to link it yes. in with the human trafficking and the exploitation yes. and, ha- and the, the vulnerability. You are just making yourself yes. more and more vulnerable. But they need they need guidance. And yeah. there's so many yeah. adults saying, ons kinders is verloore. No, they are not lost. Because when we yeah. give children yeah. the opportunity to do good, they actually do yeah, good. Right. But there's not enough adults that is guiding them and giving them the opportunity and to do good. In their lives. Yes. Exactly. Now I need to go on to Olivia. Yeah. So <laughs> Olivia, <laughs> Olivia, the founder of Olive Grove, the work that you are doing, and I know the love that you have for the youth is incredible. Yeah. So tell us more about what, what you focus on in your heart and what you do when it comes to the youth. Okay, thanks, man. The thing is, um, out of one's life experience comes forth the passion for what you're doing with the present and into the future. So it's important for young people to be equipped. But I think one of the most important things is to find a place where they are loved, accepted, um, scars and all, boots and all, cracks and all. Sure. Um, Definitely. And, and those are the things that's important to create the environment for people to feel um, loved and accepted. You cannot speak to somebody and expect them to embrace you. If you don't create the environment for acceptance, mm. you know, that's not going to work. Mm. So um, mm. you have to create the ambience. Mm. My big word is I love you. Must create the ambience of people yeah. feeling that they accepted, they loved, and they cared for. And out of a point of that kind of ambience that's created, mm. people are open. Mm. Uh, so that's the first thing. Um, if we can accept people, um, that's the one thing I think is the most important foundation. Before before trying to present your your, your beliefs. Mm. You have to be the belief to them. Yes. So um, creating those environments takes time. It's not a drive-by. It's not a quick fix. It's not a microwave mm. thing. One has oh, to realize you're in here for the long haul. Yeah. You have to gain people's respect. So if you look at us, if we can talk about our stories. <laughs> Teenage life, um, we didn't listen to adults. Adults had to earn the right to be heard. Th- that was the truth about it. You know, you must mm. show me the way. Don't tell me the way. Show me mm. the way. So out of that aspect, one has to be able to talk to people. And I think what of us, you can say, if we're not um, ready to be ourselves and to be open about our mistakes, mm. kids look at us and they think, ah, oh, they've got it all together, but they don't know the mm. mess that we've come through. And maybe True. the mess we're still dealing with. Or so, they think that you're naive. You yeah. haven't experienced So if you can come to the place, <laughs> they will send in Afrikaans, uh, vice me your chapis, mm. meaning show me uh. your scars before I will listen to you. Mm. And that's the, re- the reality of how, you, if you want to address kids and, and reach them, you must be real. You must be real. Yeah. So for myself, that is the thing, creating that environment. Um, yeah. Also, I realize a lot of kids are not street smart. Mm. Yeah. Now, street smart, yeah. I don't speak about knowing the roads and how to do things, how to talk people. But it's about just basic things of trying to protect yourself. Mm. Mm. Basic things, don't talk to strangers. I and mean, that's a real thing. Don't just give your number to people you don't know. Mm. Uh, don't advertise yourself on, on social media I mean, and those kind of things. Mm. Things are not mm. important or relevant, but it's relevant. But rather safety about followers. Yes, as well. about how many likes and how many following, you know, and, and yeah. those kind of real issues to say to people mm. what are the, the disadvantages of those kind of oh. ir- irrational behavior. Yes. Yes. So it's those kind of things I enjoy doing. Um, as I say to you, it's, we all in it for the long haul. Yes. It's not a quick fix. Mm. And you cannot do it alone. And I like what you said is about we, we need to have each other's hands. Mm. So if we're going to communities to do things, you cannot do it alone. No, you can't. No. You can't ask about my, about my name, my banner. And, yes, because you, know, you get that. When yeah. I go to communities, you do, do get People's those NPOs close. saying, um, listen, yeah, you're going to work alone. And then I'm like, okay, well, then we will not be able to work together. Yeah. Because if you want to work alone, um, I'm probably going to work with 10 others as yes. well. So yeah. let's all work together. Yes. And, stuff. and you do get that. When we started out, 80% of people just wanted to work alone. Yeah. And it's just about them. Twenty percent of the NPOs yes. say let's work together. Yeah. And even like we spoke about the other friend yes. we have, the mutual yeah. friend. I yeah. mean, 
this how many other NPOs? But yes. when you see stuff being done, she is there yes. because she doesn't mm. care about it's yes. about the community, yeah. and it's about twenty percent of NPOs uh, and people in communities willing to work yes. together, and those twenty achieve way more than the eighty that's yeah. kind of passive that's and seeing what is in it for them and yeah. what is in it for it's about yes. the statistics, the numbers, yes. the figures and many times people close ranks. Mm. And that's how it is in life. We cannot change the community as a solar entity. Yes. No. As, as individual no. entity. You cannot do that. You mm. need a collective army to be able to make that impact. Exactly. At the end of the day it's not about Color, race, creed, social, uh, any exactly. of those things is about exactly. means, means oh. Yes. And, and, and also, we all have different talents yes. and gifts. Not and, and you are the legs, I'm the arms, yeah. you are the head. You know, yes. we, we, we are different. different. Yes. Exactly. And we, we're bringing um, different aspects, and that is what our youth needs. Yeah, mm. definitely. And the thing is, what one is real about is we mustn't just assume that youngsters know what to do. Oh. Mm especially in certain uh, social economic disadvantaged communities. Yeah. Parents must work. Yeah. Time to parent is minimal. Mm. So someone else is parenting them. Social media is parenting them, the kids at school are parenting, the kids on the street. So it's those kind of things. Don't even assume that everybody, the kids know these things. Yeah. So when yes. you go into an environment or school, mm -hmm. uh, one has to look at the, the magnitude of the problem. Mm -hmm. But if you can see yourself as a, as a seed carrier, Yes. You don't know where that seed is going to land, but as long as you know you are going with that intention to sow the seed, mm. and sometimes right. you would go, you go and crack the ground, mm. I would come and I'd pull out the weeds, and Tersha would come and she'd sow the seed, and Janita would come and she would water. Yes. That's yes. the whole process. Yes. One can come to the space. We you would have behind our cameras just yes. so for those. <laughs> <laughs> so those kind of things you can never, we can never reach our young people on our own. Yes, most yes. definitely. Uh, we can't just take credit because we want to know we've got the most likes and the most. Yes. Celebrate another organization that does the same thing that you do because they can reach an area that you can't. Yes, don't, exactly. Don't, I was yes. not going to use other words, but don't moan about it. Yes. <laughs> don't moan about it. If yes. someone is doing something that's exactly like yours, yes. celebrate Good. them. Yes. Yes. And you know, you know, we've got a mentor. Olivia, you and I. Well, yes. you're 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 yes. also my mentor, <laughs> but you and I have yes. a mentor as yes. well, yeah. Karen Sandenberg. And there's one thing that she said to me a couple of years ago that will always stick with me. And she said, um, "Collaboration, not competition." Yes. And that is what we're talking about: yes. is taking hands. Yes. You know. Um, so that's very important. And what I also just want to emphasize is soon we're gonna. Um, be commemorating um, World Youth Skills Day and that is um, really what we want to get across today is for people to get involved you know in whichever way you can whether you can volunteer you can volunteer um, with any of these organizations here or any other organization in whichever way you feel led and you can volunteer your talent you can volunteer what you love doing you know whether it's just um working with children whether it's art whether it's photography yes. whether it's um walking out on the street you love just going up to strangers and speaking to strangers it can be anything um whatever we have been given as a talent you know or a skill we can use to to uplift others and to to, to even teach others and that is what we want to encourage today, yes. is that through the work that we're doing, is to encourage those out there that, you know, it's so important for us to work um, together mm. and also to, if you can't give your time, if you have funds that you are willing to give, um, whatever you feel led to do to help develop the skills of the youth yes. of today because we need to equip them, we need to develop and help them develop their skills so that we can minimize their vulnerability. Because when it comes to human trafficking, it's people's vulnerabilities yeah. that are being exploited. And currently in South Africa, the leader in how to trap young people and also adults um, into a human trafficking situation is fake job scams yes. and if we can equip 
our kids with upping their skills and so on, they will not fall for these job scams that easily. I think, uh, like you said, and then being vulnerable, Mm -hmm. you doing programs in community as well, and you telling the people to offer these skills, every time, even if it is photography, every time that child learns something new, you can see the confidence immediately now after after that. You can see this this child being vulnerable and being bang. And yeah. as soon as I, every time they learn something new, how the confidence grow. Mm-hmm. And if you have an individual person that have confidence, yeah. it is more difficult to trap them. Mm-hmm. It is because they, they, they can, sure. the confidence yes. and vulnerability yes. goes hand in hand. Yes. So yes. the more confidence they have, yes. the less vulnerable they, they are. Mm-hmm. So really connecting to the youth in that manner yeah. um, and putting it out there to mm-hmm. people saying, well, come and offer your skills yeah. and work through NPOs. Because once again, if you go into a community and you say, I'm here to help you, yes. and you are just taking children from the street, you are increasing their disability because you are making them, oh, I can speak to strangers and there's yes. something in it for me. Yeah. Don't just go into community and Very start handing out food yeah, on the no. corners. Don't do that. You are literally probably causing someone else to fall in the trap. Yeah. Equip of them, them, equip yes. them rather to, rather go to an NPO yeah. and people know yeah. if it's not through someone in the community, do not help them. Yes. So that's a very important point yeah. for people out there thinking they are doing good, yeah. but they are actually creating the, the problem yeah. yes. and they are actually making the children more vulnerable. Yes. That so true. that is definitely one tip I want to put out there. Come and help, but do it through NPOs that's active in those yeah. communities. Yes, yes. Um, and then you said something that I want to uh, 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 mention here as well. Um, talking to our children through our experiences. Um, we work in schools and we have a program, Crossroads, which is character development, okay. but also creating awareness in a lot of mm. aspects in their life. Um, And part of that Crossroads program is connection points with the parents. Mm. That wasn't really possible. We never really did that. Then COVID started and we couldn't go into the schools. But we have feeding Mm -hmm. schemes and we immediately had permits and we just continued our work. In fact, we continued a lot of other MPSO work as well because they couldn't go in. And we had permits and we just had to go in. But now we were able to connect with the parents. Yes. And we said, okay, let's take these conversation points Mm. that is part of every lesson that we never really did and tell the parents to have these discussions with their children. Mm. Mm. And the testimonies that came from there, you know, from from the parents opening up saying, you think I'm stupid. And you think this, but the question we need to talk about is, what is the worst thing that happened to me when I was a child? Mm. And then those parents yeah. becoming vulnerable, telling the children, let me tell you what was my worst experience. Yeah. And the amazing relationship yes. that was established through the parents becoming vulnerable. Yes, that, that is incredible. That was, and, and, and then through their experiences, yes. like you said, their confidence grew as well. Because they're like, yes. my mom made it. And yes. she's still here. It's not like, oh, yeah. she's just telling me what to do and you have to rebel. Yes. When you open up and you... T- and, and that is a very good thing for parents to yeah. have these conversation starters or saying this and going, yeah. Yeah. once a week, yeah. I'm gonna, we're going to go through these questions. So yes. it's not, first of all, the parents telling the children because they rebel immediately if the parents, you yeah. know, having to teen- teenagers. Yes. <laughs> That's just an exactly. immediate <laughs> exactly. yeah, situation. But if I say we've got this list and it is actually to create a better future for you, for you not to make my mistakes. That means when you are as old as I am, you will actually be 10 years better off because you will not make the same mistakes. And if you can tell them that that is why we're going to do it and you have these 10 questions um, that you can discuss with them once a week and they can then you can show that that's amazing I think it comes back also to what, what you said Olivia, yes. is creating that environment yeah. first that is like establishing the ground yes. first eh? mm. as almost as if one one needs to be able to strengthen the foundation of families it is, yeah. it's that real thing yeah. uh, you know the song of I think it's Mariah Carey that sings and then a hero comes along yes. with a strength to carry on without people realizing 
they superheroes is, is, is their parents, is their mm. aunts, is their grandparents. Mm. If one can instill that culture back into the family, which strengthens the fiber of families yes. to be able to see, my family's got me. Yes. They didn't maybe have safety nets. Um, that one can now we come and reinvent something completely different, which always has been there, but to strengthen to say if your mom and your dad, your aunt and your uncle and your brother isn't your first point of of safety. Yes. In, you know, if you know you've got that kind of safety net, you're not going to be vulnerable out there yes. because the lines of communication is always yes. open. Yes. And that's the one thing is by equipping the mothers and fathers also to say it isn't a good as a job a good job opportunity, go. But parents should also be able to say, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this all about? Who are these people? Mm. Yeah. Not to send the kids, but go with the kids. Nothing wrong with your parents go with you to an interview place. They're your safety net. Yes, that's It's those important. kind of things to mm. get that dialogue continue yes. to happen. Yes, yeah. And parents will stop feeling like that they're like failures. Yes. And out of a disadvantage point, say, I can't reach my kid because I'm already a failure. Yes. But when you strengthen those kind of things, then yes. the kids can sing. My hero has come along, has been along all along. It's my yes. parents, yes. it's my brothers, my sisters, my yes. aunts. It's those kind of things. If we can do it through engagement with families, mm. that's mm. helping to keep the kids not vulnerable anymore. Yes. And kids that are vulnerable, because we know 40% yes. of the kids is in situations yes. where they're vulnerable in yes. the actual homes yes. and exactly. families yeah. and parents yes. selling their own kids. Yes. And parents make, taking videos yeah. of their children selling that. We that, know yeah. that. Um, where the lighthouses come yes. in, like organizations, organizations like yours, yes. and um, yeah, the lighthouses saying this is your safe spot. So yes. if you have an interview, yes. let's let's talk about yes. it here. Um, having, like I say, those lighthouses in every community yes. that can help those kids that doesn't have it. Yes, um, yes. yes. but I mean, I've seen in the communities that one. Uh, uncle in the street becomes everybody's, everybody's uncle, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then one mother becomes everybody's, everybody's yeah, mother. Yeah. And I think people, people in in, in normal suburbs, yes. doesn't understand the amazing, yes. beautiful yes. culture, yeah. which is actually so. There is so many bad things, and people focus on it. Yes. But there is so many There's good so things, things of, yeah. of really of like in the old days where it's yeah. a family. Yeah. I know all the children in yes. the streets, you know, yeah. and they can call my name and I will come to them. I might shout and yes. scream and yes. proclaim, yeah. but they know that I'm there for them. And you get that in a community. Yeah. Yes. And, and that it takes is, a village to raise a child. You still see it, that it there. It takes a village. It and you don't see village. it somewhere else. Yeah. You see yeah. that there. It's still visible yes. there. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And that is a very beautiful side of so, these so, communities. Yes. So just to bring together what the two of you are saying. So it's very vital, you know, for, for, for those young people for the, the the young adults especially you know if you are in a situation where you want to you know you need to earn some extra money just on the side while you may be finishing the trick or whatever or you're about to go into the workplace um, it's it's important you know where your safe person is whether it's like what Olivia said yes there are many many families in the more disadvantaged communities or in any community that is a safe haven mm. but include your parents include your caregivers include your safe person to help you um, with you know your 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 um, job hunt um, you know when you when you receive a job offer for instance it is vital just to do some research um, there's there's some some red flags for instance we, um, we know that it's a very big red flag if you receive a, a job offer via WhatsApp, for instance, mm. or when they ask you to send um, a photo of yourself. Mm. No job requires a photo of... They don't need to know what you look like, you know. They, they just need your abilities and your skills. Um, and like Olivia mentioned earlier, take a parent with you or caregiver or someone... Um, older than you or that you trust um, and there's nothing wrong with that and then and then you um, were mentioning about you know there are unfortunately um, homes again where that is actually the, the child's danger zone that is where they're being exploited and that it's just so encouraging and amazing that there are places like the lighthouses um, you, you guys connect the children and the schools with NGOs within their communities, you know. 
go to the lighthouses, go to those NGOs and, um, you know, ask them to help you when it comes to a job offer. Just please do your little bit of homework thoroughly. Okay, so I also just want to encourage those of you who, um, you know, you can go to the lighthouses or the NGO, your safe place. Um, you know, if you're maybe in a situation of um, a home where you do not have a safe person, go to the lighthouses or go to your nearest NGO or your safe person and then ask them for help when it comes to um, a possible job that um, you might be a little bit suspicious of and ask them for assistance. And then what's very important, an amazing tool that all of us must always be aware of and memorize this number. It's South Africa's National Human Trafficking Hotline number. And it's a very easy number to remember. And Marjorie's going to make it very easy <laughs> for the younger crowd to remember it. But first of all, I'll mention it to you. It's 0800 222 So you can use that number. You can phone them. They have trained staff who actually do a job vetting. And it's free of charge. You give them all the information you have, the contact numbers, etc., and they will then investigate and come back to you and tell you whether there are too many red flags and rather to avoid the situation um, or whether it seems safe to just go for it. So, Marjorie, over to you. So, for the little ones, <laughs> 0800 is your toll-free toll number. So, 0800, it's easy. So, 0800, and then what is, uh, if you want to be safe, do you have to walk alone or do you have to walk with a friend? You have to walk with a friend. So, it is in twos. So, it's two, two, two. So, it's 0800, two, two, two. And like our disciples in our community know, yeah. the holy number is seven. So, if you want your life, to um, get back to normal or you need help, you need to get to that holy number, which is seven. So it's going to be seven, seven, seven. So 0800 222 I love that. <laughs> and it's not only for job vetting. Yes. So for the younger crowd that are not looking for a job, remember if you are in a situation at home or whether it's a friend or family, whether it's a family member, whether it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend, whether it's um, anyone you know, whether it's a stranger, whether it's a leader within the community that is busy exploiting you, you can also phone that number. 0800 222 and you can phone anonymously and you can report it and they can help you. So please remember that number. Yeah, and I think the importance about that is dialogue. We should keep open and talk. Yes. Talk to someone. And yeah. if they don't listen, then talk to someone else. And if they don't listen, talk to someone else. Exactly. So continue talking like until that. somebody takes note of you. Exactly. We were always taught that children must be quiet, <laughs> must be seen and not heard. But I encourage people when we do programs, you talk to somebody. If your yes. auntie don't want to listen, go to your uncle. If your uncle don't yes. want to listen to, go yes. to your teacher. Mm -hmm. If your teacher don't want to listen, go to the principal. If the principal don't want to listen to, go to the nurse. Go to the neighbor, go to somebody until somebody listens. Because you yes. know what is yeah. happening to you. Somebody has to listen to you. you can imagine. Yeah. And also with the number, it's important. I mean, you've got your contact list. It's so full, eh? What is wrong in having that? That's the first contact on your number. Yes. You know, what is wrong with it? Just yes. save it, 0800 save it into your contact list, your address book, make sure, yes. share it, it become part of your, like your hashtag, your, your yes. uh, you know, you do it on your WhatsApp number, your star, then you yeah. type in something, <laughs> star, and it's in bold, yes. save it, make it to be part of your daily living, and the thing is, mm -hmm. when it comes to you say, you must tell somebody, mm -hmm. we were always told, us, munani, pratine, you mustn't pimp, mm -hmm. But I think sometimes when you know that people are doing wrong, pim, yes. tell somebody. If you see somebody being trafficked, traffic not just being taken, but if a boyfriend is exploiting his girlfriend and yes. sending her to the street, 
the prostitute so that they can have a seat of the habit of drugs. Tell somebody. Yes. If the, the police doesn't want to listen to, find out where the social workers are. Go yes. to a religious leader. Go to someone. Go to a community leader because that must never become an acceptable law. Yes. Exactly. So exactly. in our communities, that's a big thing. Yeah. Boyfriends are pimping out their the, the, the girlfriends to see to the habit. They sell their girlfriends. They beat mm. their girlfriends. The girlfriends, they stay with the boyfriends. Mm. They go out into the streets, but nobody says anything about mm. it. Mm. Mm. So it's that kind of thing. You don't have to keep something under lock and key. Mm. It's important. You have to let light come in. Light needs to break through darkness happening in communities. Yes. Those kind of things must never be acceptable norms. Mm. Exactly. And it's and nothing wrong to say. Nothing oh. wrong. Exactly. Mm. Say if it means it. I love it, I love yes. it more. You know, the, but that is true because if you keep quiet... You know, it's just gonna. In a way, you 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 becoming also, you, you unwillingly part of that vicious cycle yes. because you are making it seem that it's just acceptable, yes. and your next friend is maybe falls in the same trap yes. and in say Hamanik and Melisala who says as yai. Yeah. So we need to work together, not, not, not just looking out for ourselves, but for our neighbors. It's, it's like um, uh, our two, we have got the twins that we have as part of our family now, these boys. Mm-hmm. If the phone is on mute, they're watching YouTube, then the boys will say to the phone, talk, 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 say something. Talk. I mean, say, put up yes, the volume. Yes. So what it's about is use your words, man. Use yes. your words. People need to use their words and not just use their inner voice, mm. but they must be heard. So yes. it's that kind of thing. To encourage people to talk out. Yes. yes. And I just want to say to those watching, we, we, we are emphasizing something very important because within South Africa, it is unfortunately known that most of the trafficking situations are happening within our borders mm. and it's happening mostly from the rural areas or the more disadvantaged areas to the urban areas. So that is within the South African borders. So what we're discussing now is exceptionally vital, especially when it comes to South Africa. And yes, we also have um, people who are taken across borders, most definitely. But remember, when it comes to trafficking, transportation is not necessary. So as that our ladies have mentioned now, uh, you know, pimping out or prostituting out um, your own children, your your girlfriend, your friends, etc., etc. That is what is happening within our communities, and it happens mostly within um, the more vulnerable communities. And a lot of our rural kiddies are being taken to the urban areas to be used and exploited, whether it's sexually. Um, you know, for sex trafficking, or it can be for domestic servitude, it can be for um, even forced begging, and even for forced illegal activity. So remember that um, human trafficking is very wide. It is not only about um, abduction, um, you know, it is not only about taking people across borders, or um, being locked up in a container. These are, in fact, um, true things that do happen, but that is not where human trafficking ends. What I was going to say is, um, you know, in this past two years, one has seen uh, COVID has brought about cabin fever, mm-hmm. been yeah. isolated. Yeah. So there's been an increase in pornography, yeah. addictions. As a result of that, there's an increase in promiscuity, and because of job losses and what the income is down, so sexting has become a big thing, and kids taking photos of themselves. That's on the increase of those kind of things. Also, things that you should speak about, yeah. Because you might not be trapped, tricked, or traded, mm. but you can be in your home and still be trapped, tricked, or traded yeah. because exactly. you are still selling your house from the comfort of your home. Mm. Because that mm. is also something that people don't talk about. Yes, and, and because everybody's into technology, mm. you know, mm. it's on social media, all these things. Mm. And if one can come to the space of educating people more mm. on those kind of things, mm. people would come and say to themselves, "But um, no one's taking me, no one's trapping me, mm. no one's forcing me. Mm. I'm doing this 
out of my own. Mm. But it's those kind of things. It's like an addiction. Mm. Yes. Mm. Then you then you're not gonna be concerned if someone say, "Can't we take more photos of you? Don't, don't yes. you want more angles?" So it's, it's those that you know. They say the tacha is the entry drug. Oh. Before you know it, you're on coke and heroin. Mm. So if that prevention versus cure thing is an mm. important thing mm. to stay say to people, rather stop it before it bleeds, mm. rather stop it before it passes. Yes. Um, and those kind of things are the different aspects of. Of, of traffic into is without you realizing Most definitely. you get into that yes. into those kind of but things. thank you Olivia, for bringing that up because when it comes to you know um, um, sharing explicit um, photographs yeah. with you know with maybe someone that's a boyfriend now or even a stranger and that is what's happening yeah. like you say is you are opening yourself up to what what they call sextortion so those images can be used against you and we see it time and time and yeah. time again that youngsters do this like olivia mm -hmm. said you know you're doing it voluntarily um you know I, 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 i'm having fun whatever you know um it's innocent fun however the danger is that it can be used against you mm -hmm. and what happens is that they then blackmail you mm -hmm. into doing even mm -hmm. worse things um sexual acts on camera or they force you to to meet them somewhere, and um, and that is where a lot of our youngsters also um, basically vanish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Olivia, please tell us a bit more about your work. We we now have a bit of a um, you know you gave us a little bit of a how you say means so big fun of taste. Okay. Yeah, but tell us a bit Start more. Start yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Look, I think for me, some of the things that I enjoy doing, that I'm passionate about, is, is the uncomfortable things that parents don't like to talk about, is sex education. Yeah. <laughs> uh, focus on the family has this program that I love. It's mm -hmm. called No Apologies. It's about teaching people good behavior. Uh, and, and the disadvantages or the consequences of soul ties. Mm -hmm. yeah, we know all those things. If soul ties, mm -hmm. if you don't, deal through your experimentation in your teenage years, it messes you up for later in life. So mm. it's about instilling dignity, mm. worth. You can start again. You know, it's those kind of things. Yes. It's not over. You can start over again. Yes. Um, and that's the thing about if you are able to be bold enough to talk your own story. Mm. It's your own story that brings people to it. Mm. You know, so I love uh, I, I love the No Apologies program. I love bullying, uh, bully proof. I love that human mm. trafficking, trafficking awareness, but I love street smart. Street smart is an important thing. I've started working on this program to equip people holistically on, you know, your, once you know your worth, you know your strengths and your weaknesses, you are able to withstand whatever. Become an ambassador to yourself and to your community. So that kind of program is important. I like to talk about uncomfortable things. <laughs> I love even, that. even though I'm bloody in the face when I talk about these certain things, but uh, there are certain things that must, one must talk about, yes. and I enjoy that. <laughs> so it's, I, I use as an example through our programs of the Olive Grove, we've done a program called Street uh, Sweetheart, a Sweetheart program. So we start with kids from disadvantaged communities. Mm -hmm. They were nine years old when we started. Um, so we took these young girls through a process. We took them camping. And, you know, some kids didn't even know what it's like to sleep in a bed on their own. Yes. We know. ended up having like six girls sleep in one, one bed because that's all they know. Yes. So, they said, Auntie, is this pillow for me? Yes. Can I use the blanket alone? Is it alone? Can I shower? Is there hot water? Yes. It's those kind of things of introducing to people of what they can achieve. In life. Yes. So, there, was, there were nine. Uh, some of them are 21 today. Oh. So, those 20, 21 year olds now. They've gone through the process of you building the images and the self worth. You teach them on trafficking. You teach them on, on, on no apologies. They have now become ambassadors in their community. Yes. They yes. run the programs. They go from they call it courts is the, the housing schemes. Mm. They go from courts to courts teaching kids. Oh, beautiful. And if you can get the message from them, say, Auntie, you taught us how to do it. So it's that thing about the seed that you sow into yes. people's lives. Never take that for granted. Never despise the day of small beginnings. Yes. Never despise the seed that you sow. Yeah. So some of the things that the Olive Grove believes in is we must connect with people. You must men's a men's a men's views. To be able to connect with people. To make use of your resources because it's not yours. Oh. And then you can empower them. Even whatever the tools they need. 
Yeah. You know, don't be selfish in empowering people. Yeah. You know, even if someone else, like my partner, would be able to say, okay, we've got that kind of tools and resources. Yeah. Don't just say, oh, oh, we don't want something that's not branded with the olive grove. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's mm -hmm. those things. Mm -hmm. um, they use those resources and you empower them so that they can be impactors and influencers. Yes. And that's your greatest glory is when the ones that you've worked with do mm. better than you. Yes. And for me, that's the biggest thing. And our logo is like, we need to impact generations one life at a time. Mm. One, it just takes one person. Yes. One person who can light up the lighthouse. Mm. And then another one comes and the light gets brighter. Mm. You know? So it's those kind of things. If you can use your vulnerability to show people your scars, you bleed your heart, you empower people. Yes. And yeah. also to teach them how to be safe yeah. and how to take care of themselves. Yeah. So for me, that's an important thing is I am not the kind of person that I want to be a year on myself just as my work. I can never do no. that. And the minute mm -hmm. there's a, a, a spotlight on me, I want to move out of the way yes. because then you can come closer. <laughs> funny, that's and you're often in the yes. spotlight. Yes. <laughs> that's my biggest thing. God if I, can, you, if I can move out of the spotlight. <laughs> yes quick enough to bring the next yes. person in mm. that's i celebrate that because yes. it means that the process is going on quicker mm. it's not just about me i can i cannot reach the world on my own yes. so collaboration that's a belief that we are going to be so the yes. more but people that is can raise thing. up but that, is yes. how my, that is one of the reasons mm. why i respect you yes. so much as well <laughs> olivia it's because it takes a true leader to help create other leaders. Yeah. And that yeah. is what we need here. So I have a question. It must be one of the last questions. Okay. So in, in certain communities, um, apparently what has been happening is the kids would like you know, like spin a bottle or they would um, flip a coin, um, something like that. But there would be a group of kids that agree to play this game. And it would be obviously a mixture of boys and girls. Yeah. And then what happens is, you know, if it falls on you, then, uh, or on two of them, I don't know exactly how it works, but then they are obligated to go into a room alone together. Yeah. And you are not allowed to back, it's almost like a daring yes. game. Yes. And you're not allowed to back off. Yeah. I mean, that game. And that is a very is. serious form of exploitation yes. that are actually mm -hmm. happening in our schools. So yeah. that's why I'm asking if you ladies have come across sure. that. Um, we did it when I was children, so yeah. I, this game has been going on yeah, for no, many no. years. <laughs> okay, well, I can see it in a It's not, it's not, it's like but, 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 it's your friends. <laughs> Remember, you didn't have friends yes. like that. The people that I was probably hanging out with mm. were the ones drinking, smoking, and going to parties. So that stuff happened. So, so that was... So, so uh, about, about eight years ago, I went to a, a primary school in our area. And the very same thing. I mean, like, we, we do these programs and the kids don't even know that you're asking them personal because they've dropped their guard. Mm. So they one comes out and talked about the very thing about spin the bottle. Mm. Okay. Uh, this, these kids were started four. That means it's grade six. Yes. Grade six. Now. Yes. And all the educators was in the classroom. And they did this through the day. They were shocked. Those educators of what the kids were doing during intervals, mm. in the toilets. And it wasn't even about girl on girl, boy on boy, it was taken to an extent even of bestiality that dare the kids. Mm. So what does kids know about that if they are not being taught through this education system yeah. about yeah. experimentation? Yes. So you don't know how it opens up kids' minds because they develop developmental stages in their lives so they yes. can experiment. Yes. It's been yeah. eight years ago. It was only four kids. They were 11, 12 years, years old. Yes. So yes. I had to really compose myself to think it's happening right under my nose. Yes. Mm. So mm. Uh, these things are happening. It's just not being spoken about. All kids mm. they speak about it openly, not knowing. Yes. Actually, how serious it is. But once again, they are vulnerable, yeah. and they, the reason why they are going along with it is because they don't want to be alone. Yeah. They don't want to be the child on the outskirts, yeah, not having friends. Um. But if you have self worth yes. and your uh, uh, you have a vision, and that's why it's so important yes. telling yeah. children you have a dream, yeah. and everything in this world is going to stop you getting to that dream. Yeah. So every time you do something you're uncomfortable with, 
you're probably taking a step in the wrong direction yeah. and you are taking a step yes. back from your dream. Yeah. So rather be alone and reach your dream because yes. one day you will find your tribe. If it's yeah. not now, yeah. you will find your tribe. Mm -hmm. And even my children, um, um, because we didn't have TVs in our house until they were 13 and so they really weren't, I want to be say, social uh, social be acceptable. Yes. They didn't know the talks. They, yes. they haven't seen... Uh, uh, um, Fry scenes and yes. they haven't seen it yes. even so yes. the, when stuff happened they were already like oh, what's going on here just because mm. it wasn't in our house mm. yeah. and I promise you they did not have friends and mm. I had to sit down with them and say I'm sorry yeah. but this we live in a world but we are not from this world mm. and not having a friend is not the most you reaching your full potential that is important yeah. and these children will not understand it because they are focused on now yes but yeah. um um being alone you know is it, it's like let me alien me and yeah. you know what it is probably something that could save your life mm -hmm. saying i would rather be alone yeah. than do this mm -hmm. It's sad, so but you, you have to teach them. Yeah. Just to answer you that you have to know that it's been happening for a long time. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. And it's, the kids are getting younger. That is, yes. They are getting, getting younger. That's why I think dialogue is important. Yes. You know, Talking. many years ago when we were younger, they used to have the slogan of Zipat in a Zibi block. <laughs> and the yeah. more they see it, the more they see it. Now you go out, you don't throw it in the you don't throw it on the ground, you throw it in the bin. Throw it in the bin, you don't throw it on the ground, you don't litter. So it's that continuous thing of reinforcement, right. reinforcement all the yes, time. Yes. Uh, you must talk, even though it's not acceptable, even though it's not mm. it's not popular. Mm. Mm. But it's those things that's not popular that's going to save our kids. Yes. Definitely. And this thing is about you have to when the enemy comes in common, mm. you must raise that standard. Yes. yes. And we do that standard every single time, every single time until our communities are where they should be. Yes. It's not gonna happen overnight, mm. but it's continuously raising that standard, keeping that dialogue going, talking about it. Yes. Worth as a person mm. to say I shouldn't do that I shouldn't be part of this yeah you can stand on your own to say like ah you know yeah I'm going to do this myself yes yeah. it's that dialogue yes. yeah. if people will say ah so oh, so oh thanks to talk about abstinence mm. it's not so that um, yeah do you know the consequences mm. of the consequences abuse? Yes. you know, you know that yes so no condemnize no but you know the consequences of these things mm. but it's not mm. popular but so much, we always talk about things that's acceptable. Mm -hmm. yes. You'd rather speak uncomfortable truth. Yes, and I think yeah. when um, community leaders stand up yeah. and they speak out about this mm -hmm. and they get children that becomes mentors, then mm -hmm. it becomes cool again, saying yeah. no. That's, I remember yes. uh, uh, people started wearing like silver rings, yeah, silver, 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 silver rings, rings. and we're like, yeah. Well, I'm cool. You think I'm not cool, but guess what? And now there's five girls wearing yes. it, and now that becomes the new normal. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. living yeah. a life yeah. like like that. Like when we were young, we were like it was drinking. Oh my word! As you had drunk it, we had drunk it all to be at that. Nowadays, when you um, actually with young people, it's actually not about it. It's about being healthy, and you yes. go to places and they don't drink, and yes. I'm like. It's my yeah. weird thing to see that like, this was. It is so, yes. you know something yes. something good we, came from we, all of we it. Have, we have to equip them to, yes. to, to bring new trends. Yes, yes. like yes. you said, they are the trendsetters, and we must make them wow. You know, yes. if you want to be a leader, yes. an eagle doesn't. Is he a what is that? Owners? Yeah, owners. If I'm a car, is he an owner? Is he an eagle? An eagle is a lion. So if you want to be an eagle and you create an yes. eagle mindset, then they will not be afraid to stand up and stand. And alone because I is an eagle yes. and an eagle is alien. So you know, when I'm not alone, I'm a car, yeah, yeah. I'm a car yes. But just creating that yes. mindset of eagle, yes. eagles, and yes. they then they don't, and they're yes. not afraid of standing alone, and they actually see it now as a status thing. Mm. Because as I alone can stand up here, yeah. imagine what I can achieve. And if a child has yeah. tasted yes. that that empowerment yes. of actually standing up for the right thing. Yeah. Yes, I will hide a bite. Then you will get these yeah, community leaders saying, "Yeah, it is so. Yes, it's like you're saying, but be influencers, be impactors, but uh, you can be tied, tied turners, tied, turn the tide, tied turners. You can I do like that. that. And, and I, I like the thing about create yeah. your own trend, man. Yes. Oh. So, which is it? Tie color, tie color, dra. Yes. No, no. Why is that acceptable? Yes. Why can't this color and that color not match? Yeah. Yeah. It's those exactly. kind of things. Yeah. Is to question mm. what is acceptable. Mm. Yes. I said, "Here, exactly." Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, 
we are also saying that, in other words, bring organizations such as the Olive Grove and Youth for Life into your communities, into schools, so that we are there yeah. to, to, to help and there to equip. Yes. And that is what I love. So, Olivia, can you tell those watching, if how can they make watching. contact with you if they, um, if they want to ask you questions or if they want to um, book you maybe for a talk, how can they make contact with you? I was quite easy, I'm quite accessible. As if we can give you my cell number, give you the email address, you can follow us on Facebook. The cell number is 0822-934-946. The email address is quite simple, Olivia Nagan, O-L-I-V-I-A-N-A-G-A-N at gmail.com. And then our Facebook page is the Olive Grove. Uh, it's quite easy. And I'm sure you'll find me. Yeah, for me, you'll find me. We'll repeat all of that yes. towards the end yeah, of yeah. the video, definitely. And yourself, Margaret? Well, I know they're going to repeat this at the end of the video, yes. so I don't have to say all of that. No, no, no. So, no, no, no so, uh, uh, we are very <laughs> active on Facebook, and it's Youth4, with a number 4, um, Live. And if they go, all our information is on there. Okay. Um, so, yes, everything is on there. Our website, our contact details, everything. Okay, that's wonderful. Yes. It was so lovely speaking to you. I think we have to cut it now because I think otherwise we're gonna um, we're gonna be here all day. The party is only starting now, yes, and exactly. we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna cause a lot of editing for you, Anita, who's behind the scenes. So I just also wanna okay. wanna um, thank you, Anita, for for her technical skills and that oh, we yeah. can rely on her for um, hiccups and everything that no one's really aware of. So thank you so much for that. We really appreciate it. Um, and so there's one thing that's very important is um, the hashtag of the Joseph movement. And um, so if we can just remind everyone watching that, you know, it's important when, when you see something um, or know about something to do something. Yes. So remember, hashtag do something. Do something. Do something. Oh, no, we're going to have to do that. Yeah, that okay. I can have to do that. Remember, I'm going to do something. something. Hashtag, hashtag do something. Do something. Yes. Okay. I don't have to stop me. Hashtag to say it. Hashtag do something. Okay. So remember. Hashtag do something. Means it's going to just open a banner and roll us all in our laws. And then they fall back anyway. Yes. And we should learn a lot for two years. And then we're going to see mentorship program. And then the mentorship program begin. Dit is die gap van kinders wat verloren gaan, ja, kleiner. baie kleiner, net yes. omdat die program oorgaan in die twee, drie jaar van hoerskool, ja. dat eindelijk op hulle mouw is, en die ja, ja. mentorship wat die kind van, maar ek was ook daar wat jy was, en ek weet hulle gaan vir jou, uh, laat sê, gaan die pijp hier so, moenie, want as jy dit doen, dan het hulle jou, ja. Uh, I can do the same thing next week. But as you say, yes. yes. But I will not know, and, and here I is on camera, but, and I might use it, and I might not use it, but I will not use it behind the cameras. You yes. have now said um, the entry level drug is, is the dagger. And I will say this absolutely right. I was a trick. Now, I am now a little old. But I was a trick, and I was a little old. 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 And I was have you ever taken speed? And I was like, no. She's like, yeah, I have some. And I'm like, okay. I didn't even know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And there it goes to the next, to the next. I just thank God mm -hmm. that I didn't end up with heroin and rocks and those things because I don't think I would have made it. Mm -hmm. You know? So, but it is. If, if you can, if you can, if you can step, it's the one thing. I want to teach my kids, don't smoke. Bly net weg van die rook af en bly weg van die dwellings af, because you don't know. 
en, en daai goed veroorzaak dat jy brieke verloor, nie, oomlik as jy brieke verloor, wen, oh ja, pimp me, so we can have more money to have more drugs, or oh ja, do this, you know, this is my experience, you know, coming, uh, ek, jylle het al baie meer ervaring gesien in jylle lewe as ek, maar van my persoonlijke, private experience af, yes. that is absolutely the entry level, yeah. is that first one, and then it goes, yeah. yes, and I want to say, I think the only reason, hoe kom ek, my ma was, in my groot op salta is geleer, dus so, daar jy my baie mooi uit verduidelik, dus dit is wat gebeur, en kan jy, en, Maar ek sê baie oude sukses, die mens in hom, en hoog en hy haal toe nou trek, en jou siel saam met hom, wat jy, en bekoos, het sy die prentjie so erg in my kop, oor salta is gemaakt, en al my vriendin het rondgeslaaf, en alhoewel ek so die stoutste een gelijk het, nee, ek, 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 I didn't go around, want ek het die concept van salta is gestaan, en niemand anders het het gestaan, nee, dus is like, daar is 200 ander mens, kinders, in selfde graad, as ek en niemand ken die concept van salta, as nie, hoef jy nie my naam hoor, verstaan jy, as jy die concept verstaan, en jy weet dat jy eindelijk aan jyself doen, then there's no way you will go around, sleeping around, so much on this elk and other dust me. And I want to, I want to add to that, you know, and that is something that I can say from personal experience, is when, with the soul ties, and when you start um, from a very young age with, um, you know, being sexually active and so forth, that, that physical attraction can blind you so much to um, the, the, the actual truth yes. of the relationship and the, the true value that that relationship can bring yes. and whether this person is actually the right person for you because through that I missed quite a number of opportunities mm. to actually really you know complete studies up my skills and so forth mm. so it can also be such a distraction when it comes to um, your future so we, we yes. do something really quite practically about the soul ties now mm. so we do about i mean we we often on the scoff not him but me and i do program but often on the scoff and just say it but it, it, is. Yeah, no. it relates <laughs> they relate. so we do this thing about <laughs> sleeping around we do this thing about a marriage ceremony so we say okay you john and sarah sleep together and then Sarah slept with Peter, and then she slept with John and Peter's brother, and so we, we throw like a, 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 like a wool, so we yes. throw it around like to a cobweb at the end of yes. the day, so at the end of the day, when you stand at the altar, when you look back and you see you've actually joined with all of them, yes. so tonight when you have your honeymoon, it's just not you and your partner, it's all of these people getting yes. into bed with you. That's what it actually means about yes. soul ties. Yes. And, and that is the thing, that, that's the reality of it all. And try to go forward yes. with all of them yeah. behind. How are you going to go yes. forward from there? You can't. Yes. You're going to be stuck yes. there and it's going to be hell forward yes. because now you are yeah. not just marrying him. Yes, you're marrying everyone. So yes. We teach these kids about this thing about being a player. Mm. Now they're all excited. The boys are better players than the girls. The girls say, no, we're better players. We've got, we can play the guys. No, yes. not a soccer player, but a player yes, player. Yes, yes, yes. So you know, you <laughs> might, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so they, they, they're very proud of it. Yes. Until you start breaking this thing down to them. Yes. About, so you switch everybody. I said, oh, so you, you know, I, I was in, yes, but it's too many long. I said, huh? Too many long. I explained to them, it's French kissing. That is a, too many long. It was the, it was the, the slang name for French kissing. It was a nice name. Then I do all the expressions of how and the sound effects. They get gross out <laughs> about it. But that was the reality of it. Tongue and long. So now I say to them all these things. So you tongue in the long, so that means that your tongue was in that one's mouth, that one's mouth. Gross! I said, but that's what it is. Yes. You said you're a player. Yes. So now you say you touched everybody. So now on, on your body, has all that people's hands on you. Yes. Huh? Is that yes. what soul ties mean? So when they get that graphic visual thing, mm. then they realize, ay, 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 ay. I've almost got parts of myself everywhere. Yes. So, but the, the crown of it all and the best part is, for myself, I went to the beach one day and these lighties were busy playing on the, playing soccer. And this one lighty comes and he shouts, he says, Auntie, from the Olive Grove, I'm not a player anymore. No, it was two years, two years later. Yes. He says, I'm not a player. Uh, I play soccer. Uh, so I said, that's why we do it. Yeah, yeah. we should have that seed. So he said to me, 
I just played soccer. Yes. I'm just a soccer player. And yes. then I said to myself, then it's all worth it all. Yes. If one person yes. could have stopped that cycle of that comedy. Yes. And you know yes. the generation coming from yes. him, his family and yes. his children is going to be okay. Yes. So you create, start creating healthy trials. Yes. Yes. So yes. that thing, and when you come with a car, you go into an area like Lavender, that's gang infested. Mm. And now, you know, they will shout and they say, Oh, my auntie. You know, the, the language yes. says, yes. I am not going to be a player. Oh, grown up, yes. I'm not going to be a player anymore. Yes. Because those guys can say those kind of things. Yes. And then you know, yesterday, a penny dropped for somebody. Yes. Somebody's family is going yes. to be a team. Yes. And, and it's those kind of things. Why would I want to brand my thing? Because it's my thing. Yes. The gospel is then free. Yes. It doesn't have price tags. Yes. It doesn't have copyrights. It's for everyone. Yeah. So if I can empower you to... Um, do that, bring light to your area. Mm -hmm. Then who am I to say to you? You can't have my matches, get your own lighter. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to give you the matches, the lighter, and I'm going to give you the blitz to be yes, able to, to yes, ignite yes, the fire. Yes, those yes, kind yes. of things. Yeah. 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 So the work is yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Matches here. <yeah. laughs> so it's those kind of things about the work that we're doing. When it comes to getting the kids not to be vulnerable, it's those mm -hmm. things. If I yeah. can learn from you, you sharpen me, iron sharpens iron, and then we can do it better. Mm. Yes. So it's yes. those kind of things. If people in organizations and community leaders can just not be so as minus, minus, minus. Yes. And then we can get the world. Uh, it's turned. our children yeah, after yes, all. It's the kindness fun in Africa. Yeah. Every time I do a social mm -hmm. media yes. post, I always say, you know, so our children, our children. And they're like, but how many children do you yeah. have? Or you're like, I'm like, I work in the Western yes, Cape, so yeah. all of the Western Cape children is <laughs> my, yes. my children. So, I, 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 I sometimes I, want to say to them, did you check my bras? It's got many, I'm, I'm the many breasted one. You get some my clown colors. <laughs> you know, it's that thing. Uh, yes. Yes. Many breasted one. Yes. Look, look. <laughs> it's that thing. You yes. know, whoever we can nurture, we nurture them. Yes. Yeah. Come, yeah. come, come, come. Let's, let's just do this thing. Yes. Yes. If parents don't want to do, we can do it. Yes. Look, that is the thing. I believe that if your heart is truly a yeah. 120% yeah. in this kind of work, yes. then you are willing to sit like us and just feed off one another yeah. and help one another yes. and collaborate and work together and yes. so forth. Yeah.